G'day and welcome back to the garage. In one of the first episodes of this build, the bike was checked for spark before the electrical system was removed. I eventually got a weak spark, but more work was needed. In this episode, the electrical system will be tested and installed. Let's get started. On a dirt bike without any road going gear such as lights and indicators, the electrical system is quite basic. There's a CDI unit and engine kill switch, an ignition coil and spark plug cap, and a magneto rotor and stator assembly. All of these electrical components can be tested. You just need a basic electrical multimeter. Starting with the ignition coil, the manual has a table showing some electrical resistance values that can be tested. The primary coil checks out okay, it's within the 0 to 1 ohm range. But testing the secondary coil shows an open circuit. To eliminate a faulty connection, the cap is removed. But unfortunately, the open circuit remains, so it's into the bin for this part. Before installing the coil, I decided to remove some of the paint on the mounting point just to ensure a good positive ground connection. Just like the coil, the CDI unit has some basic resistance testing that can be done. And the values are checked against the table in the manual. While most of the values look okay in this case, there are a few that are out of range. The manual calls for approximate values only, so I'm going to give this unit a try anyway. A replacement part is very expensive. And the last of the three major components is the magneto. Just like the others, this part can be tested with a multimeter too. The first stator coil should be between 80 and 200 ohms. And the second, between 100 and 200. So this all checks out okay. The engine kill switch was probably okay, but a new replacement was cheap, so I just bought a new one. Without handlebars, this can't be installed yet, but it can be connected to the coil. And that starts the process of connecting everything together.
And with everything now connected up, I can check to see if there's spark. And there is. So now I can refer back to the manual to see where all the wiring runs. And with that, I can start tidying everything up. And with the spark plug cap on, the electrical system is complete. Look out for the next episode where the steering and front suspension will be rebuilt and installed. Thanks for watching, see you next time.